Hi, my name is Chris Moore. I'm doing the video demo for Team Mustang for Milestone 2. Uh, just to reiterate, our web app centers around the idea of selling ebooks to consumers. We have one dedicated seller named Alice who controls the website, adds books, edits books, deletes books. And then we have the various buyers, which can be however many want to visit the website. And we'll begin with going to localhost 3000. And user Jerry has decided to come back to the website because he heard there's been some changes made. And he wants to check them out. So he starts clicking around again. And of course... He can't get in without signing up, but this time he is really let he is really let know that he needs to sign up by this red flash, really emphasizing the point that he does need to sign up and make an account. Uh, you can easily miss the flash if it's black and white, so that color really adds to it. So we'll sign him up. And you'll see the very first thing is the beautiful blue flash letting him know that, yeah, he did sign up successfully and he did a good job. And the product inventory page looks very, looks the same. Uh, just a few added functions at the top. Uh, we mainly is the, uh, one of the main ones is the filter function to the left. And what it does is it filters by the genre of the book. So you can click on mystery. And it will show all the books that are classified as mystery books. And just to, just to prove it to you, Jerry sure can look and say, oh yeah, it is mystery. It does work. So he can see that. He can get a classic. We got our good classics. We got our sci-fi. And we get our nonfiction. So that's just a good function for the visitors to the website to narrow down their choices on the books they want. And then up top, we have a search bar this time that works. Jerry can click on it. And if he's really looking for Dune and he doesn't see it right in front of him, he can always click Dune. And Dune will appear. And what, what the search bar is, is a, is a title search. So even if, even if it's just the letter S, it's still going to pull all the books with the S in the title. But you can do lost, and it'll pop that up. So those two functions add a degree of ease of access for the users when they come in and they can find the books a little bit better. Um, a lot of the things that uh, Team Mustang has done is just cleaned up the way the website looks. We've added some color to the product detail title and added a uh, gray box at the bottom, kind of make, make it look a little cleaner. Made the description look a little better so Jerry can feel a little bit more comfortable in a cleaner website. We can go ahead and add a few to cart and you can automatically see the view just looks a lot better. We have the, the gray box on the side and then we got everything kind of condensed in the middle. Kind of makes it easier for people to keep track of what's in their cart. Go ahead and add a few more. And they're all listed. Very easy to see, very easy to navigate. And you can see the, the gray box at the side doesn't move, it stays in place as you scroll. And if you proceed to checkout, the views changed, looks a lot better. Jerry is impressed. So Jerry decides he's just going to go ahead and get some books. 
And we've already been to the fact that you need an email, but we've also added some billing information security features. So if those are improperly filled out, he can always hit place order and then the red flash will show up. Order cannot be created. And it'll tell you the reason why you need 13 digits on your credit card at least. It has to be current on the expiration month. Then you only need three digits on your security code. So once Jerry actually fixes that properly, you can look at the order again, place it, and he'll get the green flash up top, which is really nice. And this is our order history. You can see that that's been cleaned up as well. Uh, we have the order ID, so you can keep track of your orders, the quantity, and all the information. So that looks nice. And then, just for sanity check, we can look at the wish list that's also been cleaned up. And view to wish list. And that looks good as well. So Jerry is impressed with the look of the website. So those are the features on Jerry's side. On the buyer's side, we can sign out and we can get the flash and we can log Alice in, which is our standalone seller. Oops. It's not Alice. Okay, <laughs> we're signed in successfully. Uh, she gets the search bar just like all the buyers and the filter by uh, it's still worthwhile having those those features for Alice if she wants to quickly look through her inventory she can still you know hit classic and lost and those still work for her and one of the main features that we've added for Alice is that if she wants to add a product She can also add a book now, or uh, not a book, a uh, picture to the book instead of just leaving it empty. So quickly fill this out. And you hit the choose photo, and you can go to your actual uh, computer file or downloads, wherever, wherever you store pictures, and you can just click on whatever picture you want. And when you hit add product, you'll again get the flash, the colorful flash. And you can see that the book has been added down there. And that's the product detail page for the seller. It doesn't have the cart and the, win, uh, the wish list. But uh, for, the, for the users that go in, they'd be able to see the wish list and the cart functions. So that's nice for Alice. She can add books freely now, however she wants. And uh, she can also edit. If she wants to change the picture, she can always choose another picture that she likes. Update the product and the, that picture will fill in. The way it works is that there's only one picture per book. So if you update the picture, it automatically deletes or destroys that prior picture and puts in a new picture. And that are all the additions to Mustang Books. I appreciate your time. Thank you.